Hey everybody, welcome back. This is essentially part two of the review. Um, I basically have to address some of the things I said yesterday because either they weren't true or maybe I guess more information has come to light. So kind of the first thing I kind of said was uh, why would you pick Lilith as your DPS when you have Seymour who has more attack and he also has his own VC. And I also mentioned that Seymour has two support abilities that help his attack power while Lilith only really had one that wasn't necessarily the case so what I suggested was HP up level one but I was sort of just crossing that out and I'm kind of just adding focus so what focus does is it gives you more missile attack power technically while that doesn't give you more attack for slash which I guess that's what I was thinking because I was like more focused on getting the AP devastator to work um, I wasn't thinking in terms of Ranger. So, uh, now that we're thinking in terms of Ranger, however, focus is definitely a very helpful attack to have because it's going to help us do more damage as we do our ranged attacks. So that's kind of one thing I wanted to also say with the difference between Lilith and Seymour. So if we look down at the bottom in terms of range on the bottom right here, in terms of range, Seymour, the first ability there is Seymour's Dream Calling Blade. That's his best range attack. That's his best AoE attack. You know, it's got the cross shaped AoE. Pretty decent. I mean, I'm not going to lie about that. But if we check out Lilith's actual best range attack, Sharpshoot, she definitely has more range than Seymour does. And on top of that, we also have Barrage, which is one less range than Sharpshoot, but it has a much, much bigger AoE. And you guys kind of already know in terms of how good Barrage actually is. So just because Seymour has more attack, a better VC, etc. Doesn't mean that that's going to automatically make him good or, or better than Lilith. We have to take everything into account. Uh, Lilith is a different type of attacker. She doesn't just have the, the knight skills or the soldier skills. As I talked about yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, now she's kind of more opened up to be able to do the range attacks much more easy and she's going to have more access to the range plus ones uh, that from the TMRs from the support skill uh, Ranger lore gives up range plus one. So let's talk about the support skills. I kind of already mentioned that stuff, but also one thing I wanted to walk back was sword guard is actually a reduction of physical damage. So that might actually be useful to have, but at the end of the day, when you have Reflex in your choices, you just pick Reflex. Uh, in terms of the other ones, Self-Sacrifice, you got to be a little bit careful with Self-Sacrifice because it takes a little bit away from her being a bruiser because it lowers her attack type resistances, all of them. So you got to be a little bit careful with that. But in terms of focus and range lore, both of them are going to help your... Um, ranger damage output or range output so the choices are going to be either self-sacrifice and focus or focus and ranger lore for me uh that's kind of what i would go with all right so i have one more slide here and that's since we're thinking of using her as a ranger we have to kind of make the most out of her ranger ability so uh summer lilith here is going to represent any ranger that you have or you want to pair her with but keep in mind, we're keeping in mind that whatever VC you put on, on your Ranger or Summer Lilith in this case is going to help regular Lilith. Uh, she doesn't get missile attack from the sword, but she does get fire attack from the sword. And she's also going to get the missile attack up from the VC since it's a party ability. Uh, I guess we'll get into my other VC in a second. And one thing I also wanted to note is... You can also obviously use a an Esper that has uh, missile attack up. So that, that's something I didn't mention yesterday. And that's something else that's going to benefit Lilith over Seymour. Of course, Seymour's going to have slash attack up from his Esper. But this adds to her, you know, extra range and her huge AoE ability. So that's something I didn't necessarily talk about yesterday. So... What I have for you today is it's going to be two different builds. It's going to be one with King Mont and it's going to be one with Summer Lilith. So let me get into the game. 
and show my build here. So this is going to be the first build. And what I'm going to do is I have pre-recorded a video this time instead of trying to go in there live. So I try to go in there live just so you guys can see that I'm not like fudging it up or just picking the highlights. But since this is kind of a review type of situation, I kind of think it's probably better to just show the highlights because that's what you guys are here for to see in what ways you can use her more so than what how she gonna do against the meta obviously she's not gonna do amazing against 100 cost meta or is she uh we'll see in a second but it is good to see how you can use her and how effective using her in such a way works all right so as i got a comment thank you for the comment by the way i'll put his name up here so you guys can see um so I got a comment suggesting that I use Minwoo because in his eyes, that's what uh, he was planning to do is just use Minwoo, use the fire attack boost and see how well she does. And then here, so I put her on the team. Uh, the VC, as I mentioned, is going to be the fire attack up VC with, from Lamia Queen. Uh, we have uh, Ifrit on Lilith for the attack up and slash attack up. Is going to help her if she decides to use her soldier or knight skills. Uh, we basically just have King Mont as the tank here. And one thing, one other thing to say is that we have focus and self sacrifice. So this is kind of what the build looked like, but I'm going to go into a pre recorded video right now. All right, so you can see I'm here up against the lightning team. There's actually a magic user on this team. So I didn't really like try to nitpick. So one thing I also I wanted to say was out of five matches, I ended up winning three. So these, this video is going to show all three of the matches that I won. So let's just watch how it plays out. Uh, we got Lilith here doing her AP. Mont kind of just moving up with his AP charge. Uh, we got Minwoo here, Rights of the Flame. So we're already doing pretty well with the setup. Mott's gonna come in here and start tanking and you know start softening up the opponents. Lilith gonna come in, bam, barrage onto let me remove my face actually. Barrage onto Charlotte and she is done for. Uh we still have uh Ibarra and 9S here. So I want you to pay attention to we're gonna get the heal in here, I think. I want you to pay attention to 9S here and just peep this damage. 11,000 damage and 40 uh the 40 ap but obviously that didn't matter 11,000 damage is actually pretty good to be doing onto a unit all right so i removed my face so that we can see the damage numbers a little bit better uh so all right let's go into the next match okay so this one's gonna be up against a win team and we have Joom, our 100 cost uh, tank over here. We have Varush and Tifa, two pretty recent units that are both very good. So let's see what happens in this one. Of course, we're gonna get sort of a standard start here. King Mont moving up. We have Lilith with her AP charge. And we have Minwoo coming in. Bam, right to the flame right away. And I think our next move should be King Amont. So he's going to come in here. Bam. Big AoE attack on Varouche and on June. So Lilith is coming up next. Boom. Barrage. Goodbye, Varouche. Uh, so, of course, Min is going to kind of hang back, buffing herself. Mont gets stunned or paralyzed, and Mont is down. So what's going to happen here? Lilith is going to come in here with a big AP Devastator. As you can see, now they have to recharge their AP because neither of them had like bells or any AP generation. So Lilith is going to come in here. She has free reign basically on June. Bam, Reflex, definitely a lucky thing there, but you know, that's part of her kit. That's going to happen from time to time. Lilith just tearing, just wailing on June here. Minwu with the counter cure. Min was out here doing the tank, doing the distraction, and doing the Ultima. So Min was actually pairing up pretty well here. Uh, we go for another attack. There's the Courage, 
and Lilith is kind of the, almost down for the count, but not so fast. We got the heal come in, Lilith comes in, finishes the job. I think Lilith did pretty well there. She's showing her bruiserness a little bit, so definitely doing what Lilith is supposed to be doing. AP Devastator was devastating, essentially. She came in, clutch, did the huge uh, game-changing uh attack there basically and pretty much ended up getting the win right there king mont was down for most of that but gave us enough time enough you know survivability for lilith to come in and do what she does all right so this is the last match and again these matches i'm not really like yesterday i'm not necessarily even picking people out I just came in and said, you know what, let's see what we can do with this ranged Lilith and, you know, a little bit of ranged uh, options here. So, pretty standard start as usual. All three buffs go off. Black Rose Helena getting close and Cloud may be about to do a big hit here. No, actually he decides to charge. Big mistake for you, Cloud, because you get wrecked by Lilith. 7200 uh, damage right there which is actually really good. That might actually be more HP than he actually has, so. Uh, let's see what happens here. Big AoE attack, Lilith obviously gonna follow up with another big AoE attack and finish the job right there. So, pretty good job there by Lilith. All right, so let's stop this video here. And let's go back to our game so I could show you my other formation. Uh, so this formation is with the Summer Lilith, the ranged attack formation. As I showed you guys, she has Tetrasophid for range attack or missile attack up. And she has the Lucia VC, which gives missile attack up and unit attack resistance up to our other Lilith here. So... Let's jump into the other video and sort of see what happens. Okay, so this is just me picking a random lightning team. So let's see what happens here. We have Charlotte, we have Cloud, and we basically have a, a team that we've sort of been seeing for the last month or the last two months where we have uh, Frederica kind of having crazy range and crazy firepower. So something that we should probably be a little bit careful about. So here's Noma Lilith getting into position. Minwoo with the buff. Summer Lilith comes in, already starts doing good damage, and she gets the immobilize off. So that's really good. Frederica here going a little crazy with that long range and that insane, you know, penetration and damage. Lilith is not even concerned. She just does the summer sharp sharpshooter and kind of just takes a step back. She's just getting set up for next turn. And we do a little bit more softening up damage here. Now Lilith comes up. Bam! Okay, so she finishes off Frederica and she does a pretty good amount of damage onto uh, Charlotte. So now all that's left is Cloud. Cloud, you already know Cloud is going to come in here doing some crazy devastating attacks we have summer lilith come in and we got min with the heal unfortunately cloud actually kills our mr lilith but this isn't anything that regular lilith can't handle so here she is just cleaning up the job i mean obviously we kind of have the type advantage here but at this point we also had the speed advantage and sort of the double attack advantage so cloud kind of gets lapped there and you know that it just goes like that sometimes all right so this is the last battle that i'm going to show oh and actually in that last battle uh i had made some changes and i forgot to undo them or i did undid them the wrong way uh, i actually wanted to disable the defensive buff here and re-enable the offensive buff so actually mr lilith didn't do as much damage as she could have done in the last match so Potentially, she could have killed Charlotte with that one attack that she did. All right, so now I'm just looking for another team. I think this first team is a big no for me. <laughs> so I kind of just went with another team that was not 
a little a little less top meta <laughs> still kind of you know 200 cost units but you know so keep in mind that our summer lilith is actually weak to wind but on par with the um earth units so same kind of start again but this time i think we're going to get the right of the flames so that's going to power up mr lilith um and it's just a matter of summer lilith getting in there and absorbing some of that damage so but she herself has some pretty long range we have mr lilith here just doing the range up plus two and the attack up so here's summer lilith about to get a turn and she does about a third of damage there on oberon and brings june to about half here comes mr lilith bam two-thirds of life on oberon that insane range and now summer lilith is doing her a number with her range bam mr limit lilith comes in bam so including her as part of her range team seems to actually be a pretty good inclusion so i think that's actually pretty awesome right there all right so let me bring back the slideshow here the slide and let me bring my face back so in terms of those changes there i think those are actually very very good changes uh as a damage outputter with long range and big aoe i think summer or regular lilith has some pretty good potential there especially being teamed up with uh, another ranged unit the amount of range that they both have pretty good pr works pretty well together uh luckily summer lilith has a good type where she can deal help deal with uh frederica which is a pretty big long range threat and i think that really helps but all in all i hope this video kind of shows a different side of what i was sort of talking about yesterday it's not necessarily about lilith being a dps because she does have some debuffing options she does have some breaking options as we saw i think that was that second match where she came in with that ap devastator pretty much changed the whole match around so i think that was actually really good um definitely thanks to the suggestion in the comments so that was actually very very awesome suggestion and i'm glad we can see that lilith is actually doing some work and she can actually get some damage in in this crazy meta that we have so i have another idea for a build uh i still have to work on it there's still i have to get some resonance on one of my espers sadly but i think it's gonna be pretty cool what we can do with that build i'll try to get that in tomorrow by tomorrow or by the next day but if i don't i'll probably just put in my raid run uh i'll upload that and i'll put that between these two videos so but all in all feeling a bit happier about lilith's performance i'm really happy about that and hopefully tomorrow i'll have something special for you guys so Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.